Chairman Sri M. Lakshman Reddy sir, respected executive director Sri J. Chandrasekhar Yadav sir, and uh, deans, HODs, and uh, TAM, staff in charge, uh, Mrs. Swamya, CSC department faculty, and uh, teaching and non teaching staff member, TAM crew member, especially the chief uh, Paul Samuel, and vice chief M. Jessica, chief advisor Atulya and financial advisor Yugal and technical advisor Abdul Rahman and all the different team members invited guests a very good morning to all of you so in fact it is a very exciting and delighting moment to be a part of this TAM uh, version 8 because as already we have witnessed many events related to TAM and also because of this pandemic past two years we could not able to uh, conduct the, the events and all how it was all planned but I am really appreciate the TAM crew and especially uh, Somia who has taken all interest and uh, brought the team in line and with a very small span of time the team was ready and events are planned and how in a professional way it is all organized. So I request all the participants to give a big round of the entire TAM crew and Sonia for the good work what they have done in a limited time span. So before I would like to talk about the about the TAM and the events and the plans and my words for the participant, I would like to brief you. We have also an organization named as Helping Hand. I think you would have heard about this name, right? Okay. So, uh, now, just last week, we organized an event and we collected the rice and other groceries and all and we had decided to distribute in different old age homes and we had selected some, uh, I think, 20 old age home and one rehabilitation center and I really appreciate my staff, Mr. N. Viswanath from EC department and the student coordinator, Mr. Yas, Ms. Vaishnavi, uh, Ms. Gitika and Ms. Pratyusha who had taken lot of interest and hard work to go distribute, meet with the people and learn and understand their difficulties and they have extended really a great helping hand and which shows the great attitude of humanity. I request Dr. Bisonath and Mr. Bisonath and Yas and Vaishnavi who is with us. So can you please come to stage and uh, no, let the people see you. So there are some 35 to 40 students who are actively working in the helping hand team and it is all their volunteer interest to initiate this activity and collect all the contributions and donations and uh, plant which are all old age, old age homes are there which are all critically they need and a help talk out a plan, plan for a trip and they have distributed the work among themselves in such a way that every individual old age homes who are critically need the help they should be attended so i request all of you you have a big round of applause for the people who are all working for this noble call so we really feel happy privileged and proud that this kind of staff and students are also there among us who is very keen about the humanity and extended all this cooperation, how much it is possible by them. So thank you for all this work, whatever you have done, and we acknowledge and appreciate, we convey our appreciation to all of you. Please, you can take your seats. So as you know, St. Martin, how it was, it is not now not like that. Okay, so we have grown in a multifolded way, all the courses are NBA accredited, we are NAC A plus and autonomous, NIRF, hotel ranking, consultancy and now 
minors and honors degree which is only 12 colleges in telangana selected and st martin is one among them so so now again we had submitted the commercial bid to ghmc again 100 crore consultancy project from ghmc it came to st martin engineering college and aict is having a scheme that scheme name is kusal and it is a skill development program where every stakeholder it is not necessary that they should be our engineering student whoever is interested any school children also they can come and uh, join enroll for the course and take the certification training from us and the certification will be given in line with the approval of the aict so only very few colleges are chosen across india for this nobel cause and st martin again got that credibility also to its crowd so now we have a big list of achievement earlier we were thinking what point to be told what not to be told and all now we have you know like it is like a galaxy of achievement and we can keep on telling the achievements and all so the credit goes to all the staff member and student who are all day night working for themselves for the department and at the outset for the institution so now at this junction of tam i really appreciate the team who has come with a little span of time prepared and all the 18 or 19 events they have planned which is almost uh, you know completely blended with all technical approaches which will enhance the technical skill which will enhance the personality which will enhance the communication skill and which will make you employable or also it will nurture your skill set in such a way that you will able to start your own and normally there is a <coughs> there is a small uh, no belief system which runs in public okay what is the belief system i think you would have seen tv in tv advertisement there is a soap called a liril soap i think you would have seen okay so whoever girl gets an a chance to do the advertisement of that soap there is a belief system is what she will get a movie also right soon she will become a actress okay and and the story is continuing until today same things are happening so same way there is a belief system from our side who are all people getting an opportunity to work as a tam crew member they are all signing in top notch companies across india and across the globe so so best wishes to all of you and because i am witnessing for past 5 years who are all have worked in tam so their all round development it happens in such a way that okay so they will be employable in first attempt itself so i wish you all the very best and uh, you should also continue the legacy of success how we have witnessed for our past days and the participant who are all participating so there are two opportunity for you one is what you are witnessing the event there are lot of learning there are lot of learning opportunity for you to learn how to plan for an event how to execute a event and what are all complexities and difficulties you need to carry out whenever you need to plan for an event so these are all things you will be getting an opportunity to see and there is an opportunity also to shoulder the responsibility and bring out the best talent which are all hidden inside you so take it as an opportunity to learn and you can also grow by by the requirement of the time too before i sign out just to narrate what exactly the tam is i have decided to you know tell you a small story okay so that you will be understanding what exactly the tam is and why it is necessary to participate in tam and tam related events see you wonder what happened one scientist was there and scientist was having a pet dog so he used to spend so in the home only one person that scientist stays and along with that he is having a pet dog and for that pet dog pet dog is having a small baby small uh, small dog is also available so there are three uh, people there are three candidates which are all you now staying inside the home so one day what happened the scientist got an a call from usa and he has to go for a trip for 15 days 
Now what is his challenge and difficulties? So he cannot leave the dogs and go. He cannot hand over the dogs to someone and go. And he cannot carry the dog along with him to USA. But he has to go. That is the demand of the job. So what he did, as he is a scientist and very clever person, he decided for every problem there will be a solution. Okay, so let me think what what I can do and how to deal with this problem and how to deal with the situation. So what he did, so as already he came to know that after 15 days only he has to make his trip and he has to go. So he has got 15 days of time. Okay. So what he decided, I will train my dog and uh, that small puppy what I am having so that no, they will be able to learn and they will be able to take care of themselves. So what he did, whatever the food it was cooked for the dog and the puppy, so he did not serve where exactly regularly he used to serve. So what he did, he kept it outside of the door, that in the house main door will be there, right? Outside of the door, he kept the food. So every day, after one or two days and all, no, the dogs are practiced. Whenever there is a requirement of food, where to go? Outside of the door they have to go and their food will be available. Like that, that practice was keep on going on. Finally, when the 14th day came, so now who will cook the food? So he requested the neighbor to cook the food and keep it outside of the door. So the food preparation problem is solved, right? Okay, now the problem is how the dog will come out, come outside if the door is locked. That is the problem now. So the scientist get, got an idea. He called one carpenter and he told to carpenter, see this is my door, house door. Okay, so you do one big hole with a diameter of 15 centimeter. So where my dog can come out, eat the food and go inside. Okay, and below to that, again with... 10 centimeter diameter, again you do one more hole, so that small dog, small puppy is there, he can also come, eat and go. So that already I made them practice, I will lock my door, so that no, whenever the dogs feel hungry, so they will come out and food is prepared by the neighbor, it will be kept. So the problem is, will be solved. Then the carpenter was staring at the scientist and he questioned to the scientist, what was the necessity of doing two holes in the door because the same 50 meter 15 meter dia with 15 cm diameter what is the hole I will make with that same hole itself the dog can come and the small puppy also can come in that one but is the necessity that time the scientist is thinking yes that is correct only what was the necessity of making two holes when the work can be done by using a single hole itself see even though he is a small carpenter and he is a big scientist, there was a learning opportunity. So what is the moral of the story and why I am telling to you this one? See, even though we learn from all NPTEL, IIT professors and from our all our senior professors and the staff member from the department or across the department, we learn so many things. Okay, but sometimes the inclined or the expert what, which are all will be bought from the industry for the different organized, different event which are all planned, it will nurture your skill set and it will help you to think out of the box and do something better for you. So with this note, I wish all the very best to all the event organizers and especially the TAM crew members and I wish you all the very best and a great learning for all the participants so that you should learn and you should grow. And finally, make this TAM version 8 is in a remarkable one so that the legacy of success story should continue for the version 9, 10 and so on. Thank you for listening. Thanks for the opportunity. Have a good day.